Hi, friends. Welcome back. Oh, it is bedtime over here. And this segment is called Bedtime Story with Mrs. Cat. I have my snuggle buddy from Jesus above here. This is Lucille. You know Mrs. Cat has seven kingdom kids. I do. So, as we get ready to start our story. Oh, hold on. You see my friends? <gasps> what time is it? It's time to choose our snuggle buddy. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> Lucille chose her snuggle buddy. Look. That's her snuggle buddy. And I'm going to choose one of Lucille's snuggle buddies, Miss Jelly Beans. Here's Miss Jelly Beans. So this is my snuggle buddy. Miss Lucille has her snuggle buddy. Do you have your snuggle buddy? All right. Well, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go get your snuggle buddy. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, I'm snug in my bed and I'm ready to read our story tonight. So let's get started. Jonah and the Big Fish. Jonah chapter 1 verses 1 through chapter 3 verse 10. Jonah was a prophet of God. One day, God told Jonah, Go to the big city of Nineveh. Tell them to stop doing bad things. But Jonah ran away. He did not want to go to Nineveh. Instead, he got on a boat to sail across the sea. God sent a big storm to stop Jonah. The sailors on the boat were afraid. They thought the boat was going to sink. Jonah told the sailors, My God has sent this storm. If you throw me into the water, the sea will become calm again. So the sailors threw Jonah into the raging sea. Instantly, the sea became calm. Just then, Jonah saw a big fish coming. Gulp! The fish swallowed Jonah. For three days and nights, Jonah was inside the fish. He prayed to God, Please forgive me. Then God told the fish to spit Jonah onto dry land. God told Jonah, a second time go and tell the people of Nineveh to stop doing bad things this time Jonah obeyed God the people in Nineveh were sorry for doing bad things so God forgave them hello kingdom kids this is mrs. cat so I wanted to come on and let you know look we have completed the Old Testament and starting next week, we will go to the New Testament. Now, the Old Testament, which are all the stories that we've read up to thus far, is not the entire Old Testament. There are some stories that are excluded from the children's version, which is the version that Mrs. Cat has been reading to you guys. But as you get older and or as mommy and daddy or your Sunday school teacher or your pastor, or your grandparents, whomever teaches you the Bible, you will start to learn. And then you'll also recall these stories that I've read to you, we've read together um, in your own study time, okay? Or study time with your family or at church. 
Now, the New Testament, which we're going to be tapping into next week until we go all the way through all the stories in the Beginner's Bible, which is what this Bible is that we're reading from for our friends together, Mrs. Cat and you, we're reading this together. This is called the Children's Beginner's Bible. So this is not the entirety of the Holy Bible. It's just the beginning or the few staple stories that are well known and or talked about. So we're going to go through the New Testament together, just like we went through the Old Testament. And let's keep learning about God. Keep asking questions to whomever is allowing you to watch this video. And of course, I wish you could leave comments underneath, but I will um, continue to read to you. And then, of course, at the end of the video, we have the outro where Mrs. Cat asks those same questions just to make sure we're comprehending and we're learning. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And I pray you have a blessed rest of the night in the name of Jesus and a blessed day in Mrs. Cat, the leading Langfords. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye. Do not despise these small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Zechariah chapter four, verses 10. <sighs> mm. Well, friends, that was a wonderful story. Mrs. Cat is tired, but before we go to sleep, did you enjoy the story? <sighs> That's good. Can you tell mommy and daddy who the main characters were in the story? Very good. Did they solve the problem in the story? Good. If they did, what was the solution? What did they agree upon to fix or solve the problem? Very good. Well, I couldn't go without letting you know that my very own snuggle buddy is in bed. You wanna see? Okay. to her bed I'm nice and warm and I will see you next time at bedtime stories with Miss Cat okay good night make sure to like subscribe and share good night <laughs>